Hi guys, so I will cook fish for you or pak seal. Uh, okay, uh, this is my recipe on how to cook fish without a fishy taste. Okay, so let me show you. I have salmon here, two big pieces. It's about a kilo, and I have I think blue mussels blue also yeah two kilos I have washed them with water and a bit of vinegar so uh, you wash them first thoroughly you wash the salmon first okay so water and one half cup of vinegar and then you take it away and the vinegar is to take away the fishy taste and then you take the mussels could you hear <laughs> I hope it's not alive guys my god okay let's uh, move on with the um, spices so I will use one vegetable cube one tablespoon dill now this is optional but one tablespoon fried onions and if you want if you don't get tummy ache like my kettle around one tablespoon salt because it's a lot of meat a uh, fish I mean uh, around two tablespoon garlic or uh, also optional because the bouillon would, would have some some of that and two tablespoon of sun-dried tomatoes uh, preferably those without oil guys because salmon is already very fatty so be careful with the fats my god I only have this because we don't have fresh tomatoes it's one half cup of vinegar and two cups of water mix everything in the pot and let, let it boil okay and yes start with the salmon first so it won't be like green or something. I heat everything. The vinegar is to take away the, and the smell too. Now it seems like it's a lot of salt guys but it is needed. You will not, you will not drink uh, the soup anyway. Uh, if you want you can do it. You know use it as a sauce for your rice. You wait until it boils and you mix everything so about five minutes uh, yeah then it will boil and you let everything boil for about five more minutes guys then you can taste um, avoid tasting anything with vinegar until it has boiled for some minutes so that you won't get a tummy ache or something like that okay so you let this reduce before putting the salmon okay So guys, it has been boiling now for some minutes and you can also hear when it is, you know, finished because you can, you can smell the vinegar and everything, it's, yeah, it's a bit reduced now and then you put the salmon and some minutes you will have to um, turn it guys to the other side so guys after about two minutes you will see it will become white almost right away 
and what you do is either if you, if you don't want to you know uh, destroy the looks of it you can just put it like this and then cover it again or uh, yes kids if you don't like vinegar you can use lemon okay but that's more expensive you can do that or you can turn it uh, you know if you are careful I'm not sure I can do it without breaking the fish let's see it's quite big yes it's okay so you turn it you will know the fish is ready when it's all white but this was fresh fish guys uh, bought to me by my mom and with fish I mean it it takes very short time for you to you know to cook but you can take a knife and then feel it and then touch your your lips but you can see it's not yet and you, you when you want to know if it's warm enough you put the knife or yeah close to your lips and right now I don't want to do it because it's not fully cooked when it's warm then it's finished so guys, it has been boiling for about 3 four minutes and I shall taste it and a chef or a cook will never taste his or her food is a bad cook. So taste it first. It's a bit salty. It should be salty, the sauce, because fish um, needs more salt to taste, okay? So, I will just try with a fork on this side, just to see if it's already done. Mmm. I will take it out and put the mussels, okay? I took away the fish and we now put the mussels inside, guys. Open, it's uh, doesn't mean you have to throw them away, it's only because they were they did not have water or ice on them. What you do now is to mix everything. So guys, it has been about 3 minutes and it takes a very short time for seafood to be ready and you will see that it's ready when it becomes yellow, the meat, no, yellow and also that it has opened the overcooking your seafood or it will be cooked so turn off the heat and we'll choose uh, you know stir it like this so it will have the sauce and I will play play bit for you guys so guys it smells amazing not fish at all So 
So guys, this is the finished product, that one for the salmon, it's the same sauce, this is this one. So it's exactly the opposite when it comes to cooked mussels. Don't eat mussels which have not opened, so don't crack it, okay? That's not good. Just throw it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this out. Many are so afraid of seafood, but really uh, the problem is your uh, if you're overdoing it so just two minutes on each side you know so don't overdo it okay thank you so much bye bye love you